In this chapter, let us discuss how to create a one-to-many relationship. In this example, I have two classes. One is college and another is student. Now, the college class has three data. A college ID, a college name and a list of students. And the student class has a student ID, a student name and to which college the student belongs to. Now this is a classic example of a one-to-many relationship. The college has a list of students. Now to create a one-to-many relationship between college and students, go to the getter method of this list of students and then over here type in one, one-to-many and within parenthesis we need to give certain properties. The first property is target entity equal to now this college class is going to have a one-to-many relationship with which class the student class so that student class is going to be my target entity the next property is mapped by now for this mapped by property we need to go to the student class and see how is the college class represented in the student class it is represented with this object name college so this is the name we have to give in mapped by then we can give the other properties like cascade that is once again the cascade is if I am going to delete a college object I want the related student objects also to be deleted if I am going to update a college object I want the related student objects also to be deleted the next is we can have a fetch property now the fetch property for a one to many or many to many mapping is by default lazy that is if you think about it if a college has like 1000 students i don't want it to by default load all the thousand students into memory for each and every college record so by default hibernate has left the fetch type as lazy if you want you can override it to eager that is whenever i load a college object i want the related student objects also to be loaded but then like it is always not advisable for a one-to-many or a many-to-many -many relationship to have fetch type eager. So once this is done, let us go to the student class. From the student class, if you take a look, this is going to have a many-to-one relationship with the college class. That is multiple students will belong to one college. So go to the getter method of this college and here annotate it with many-to-one. And here we have to give something called as a join column name. That is when you are having a many to one relationship, we need something called as like a join column for the foreign key. So we need to specify the join column. And here we can give any name for the join column. So I have given a name called college ID. We will take a look how the tables come out. Now let us go test these two classes. In the test student class, once again, I have the basic code, like I have the annotation configuration. I also am going to add the college and student as annotated classes and stuff like that. And then I have the session factory session and the regular code that we have learned in the previous examples. And here, if you take a look, I have created one college object called New York College. And then I have created two students, one called Alex Rod and then another student object called Linda Berry. And then I am setting the college for these two students as college one. And then I am saving all the three objects and then I am committing the transaction. Now let us run this example and see how it works. I have an error that's because we forgot the basic annotations like entity, ID and generated value. So let us go put those basic annotations, entity, ID and generated value in college. So I have the entity, ID and generated value and in student, I have the entity, ID and generated value. So now let us go and test this again. So it has created those tables and inserted some values. So let us get, take a look at the database. So here you can notice that the college table has a college ID and college name and the student table 
will have the student ID and student name and then here you can see that it also has another key called which represents the college ID. So this way you can create for each and every record of college you can have multiple student records. So this way you can create a one to many or many to one relationship. I did a small mistake. Instead of saving S1 and S2, I saved S1 again and again. So I have changed it to S2 here and then reran the code. Then you will see that there are two records in the student table.